Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Beaton. Happy birthday to you. Right then, come on. I can see you both dying to give me a present. Come on, Tone. Let's have yours first, boy. Ah, oh, cheers, Tone. Th- thank you. That's nice. Good present, Tony. All right, then, Sand. Come on, babe. Let's have yours, then. I hope you like it. Sandra, he's... he's fucking beautiful. Well, that's all you've been asking for. Who's an handsome boy? Fuck. I've always wanted a pet snake. Oh, it's, it's something about him. They just have... They have this draw to me. Oh, thanks, babe. I love him. And uh, you know what? Tony, you've made the naming easy by your boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're going to name him Tony? I'm going to name him Chaz Kroger. Oh, I, I, I'm going to fill up by her now. Tony, go get the Vionetta and, uh, and see if there's a little ramekin in the bottom of the cupboard for little Chaz by her. Who's a good duckle buckle? So to confirm, your meter install date is down for the 17th. Of September? Aye, 17th of September. Is there anything else I can help you with today, sir? Um, oh, uh, I don't suppose you have the winning lottery numbers this week? Have a good day, sir. Oh, fuck me. Oh, how's it going, Al? Aye, yeah, I... Uh, You know there's 38 calls in the queue? Aye, just got off one. Just having a whiff for a second. Yeah, well, that whiff is eating into your allotted ACW time. Just remember, if it ticks over 28%. Yeah, just the last call was a stressful one. Still getting used to this call centre malarkey. Uh, Alan, what do we do here? Uh, take calls? We provide gas and electric meters. Where I come from, I wouldn't exactly call that malarkey. When you go home tonight and you turn on your telly and you sit down with the heating on, keeping you warm and toasty, just remember what affords you that luxury. Yeah, I... Uh, Hold on, I haven't finished. What affords you that luxury is your standard single-phase electric meter and your U6 semi-concealed gas meter. So just remember that next time you go throwing around flippant words like malarkey, okay? I didn't really... Anyway, enough chit-chat. These calls aren't going to take themselves. Come on. Hello, you're through to Welsh Utilities. You're speaking to Alan. How can I help? Well, first off, I'm not happy. I've been a customer of Welsh Utilities for 22 years now, and I haven't had any offers in the post. I want to know what you can do for me, for me to stay with this company. Oh, but since I've had this new present, it's like I'm a new man. People are looking at me differently, Jock. How do you mean different? Like fucking... When I was driving in this morning, right, I had Chaz around my shoulders by there, and everyone was fucking looking at me as I was driving by, fucking judging me, the fucking cunts. It's like, you don't look fucking twice if someone has a dog on them, but if you have a fucking snake, oh, it's fucking all of a story. If people can't accept me living a herpetological lifestyle, then so be it. Fuck the lot of them. Fair play. Oh yeah, beat. I was going to say, Pauline and I were talking last night, and she hadn't met anyone yet. You know, by anyone, I mean you. <laughs> Wanted to know if you and Sandra fancied having some dinner. You know, go out like. Who the fuck's Pauline? Oh why? Yeah. She's my new missus. Fucking kept that quiet. Fucking first I've ever heard of her. We all know what I was telling you the other week. Yeah, but the way you said it, I, I thought it was just a bang. No, man. She's all right, this one. Does a lot of cocoa. And she can't face the come down. Not like me. She's in, uh, she's in one of them things, you know. How do you say it? Was a vicious cycle or something. How old is she then? 25. Hey, fucking nice bit of cash back by there, boy. Go on, show us a picture then. Fair play, Jock. She's a uh, she's alright. She is. Who's our her fucking sister? Is it? No, it's her daughter. Prosecco, her name is. She just turned sixteen. What? So she had it when she was nine. Fucking hell! It's got to be a fucking record, haven't it? Well, she made it into the national papers. 
It was the fourth youngest recorded pregnancy in Wales. That year, anyway. Fucking hell, beat! Who the fuck do you think you are, then? Fucking crocodile Dundee, eh? It's my handsome boy, Blev. Didn't know you had a poodle. It's not a fucking poodle, you cunt! It's a Yorkshire Terrier, and he's my mother's. She's in town having her air plugs installed. This is Cornflake. How was she, Blev? Oh, she's been better, like, ever since Dad died. Cornflake is all the company she's got at home. Don't you uh, live with her then, or what? No, I just stay over some nights, see? Aye, but this dog is a world. Unconditional love for him, see? But anyway, I'm fucking off. See you cunts later. Anyway, I forgot what we were on about now. Oh, beat. Where's that fucking snake wandered off to? Oh, for fuck. Charles! Charles! <sighs> Personally, I don't think even an army of Pikachus would do much against Tetsuo in that final form. Yeah, but what about his abilities to electrocute him like? Yeah, but he, he'd just melt and ooze all over them and just consume them into himself. What about that? I know. How's this for an idea? What if we just stop fucking talking about shit anime for two fucking minutes? Deacon, I, I told you what this was. Why did you even come here? You hate anime. I'm just waiting for Tim to finish. I just don't get how you can hate anime so much. It's metal as fuck. It's not metal. Stop saying it's metal. It's all pink and cuddly and loud and annoying and the animation is always lazy and terrible. I can go on. Look, you can't just sit there and like besmirch anime like that. What? You said we had to sit here and discuss anime. I'm discussing why I think it's a load of bollocks. You said this was all open and free for people to express their thoughts. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah, free and open as long as what you say is positive and is, like, in line with what we agree with. Whatever. I'm just going to have a kip. Wake me up when you all finish jizzing over Naruto. Ah, oh, what's he like? <sighs> Sorry, Sonia. He's just... He's just being him. That's all right. But yeah, anyway... I was coming up with recommendations of things to watch before the next meet, and I've decided to go with Oranu Pinusu Woso. Yeah, it came out this year, but you can watch them all online with with like a fan sub. It's uh, it's really good. It's basically about this boy called Mike who's in high school, and this new girl enrolls, and she's like the first girl he's ever felt this like strong connection with. But she has this boyfriend who's on the sumo wrestling team at school. So he has, like, no chance. It's more like a drama sort of thing. And let me guess, that a giant fighting robots, or the main character has some sort of inner strength and has huge epic fights with mythical beings. <sighs> Deacon, not every anime has that stuff in it. Is any of that stuff in it, though? Yeah, like a little bit of it. Eh, uh, what's that potato, then? Oh, hey, Pat, you okay? What the fuck is that thing doing in you? He, he messaged me about joining up last night. He ain't joining. If he's in, I'm out. I'm not sitting in the same room as that rust-coloured cunt. Ugh, Deacon, settle down. He only wants to talk about anime with us. He doesn't. I'm telling you now, he's a sneaky twat who wants to try and get in here to wrangle money out of us. He doesn't even know anything about anime. Ah, I do. Go on then. Tell us one thing about anime. See? He doesn't even know one thing. I don't know, I just, uh Can't remember at the moment, uh Family Guy? You're a fucking liar. Tony, if he joins this group, I'm leaving. He's just been skulking around like the rat that he is, looking for ways to get money again. I guarantee you, he'll just sit there, constantly talk about raising money for activities, and then asking if he can be in charge of the money. Look, Deacon... If he doesn't know anything about anime, that's fine. That's a good thing. He can still join and he can learn about it. I don't get why you hate him so much. I just fucking told you. But that, I guess that's it then. You've made your mind up. Just know though, when he's fleeced you all, I'm the one that fucking told you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, go on Pat, sit down. We were just talking about animes to watch before the next meeting. 
I tell you what, I can mail you a list of some famous ones to watch so you can get into it more. Ah, thanks. Huh. That's a really good idea, Kate. Ah, I was going to say as well, if we are doing membership fees for this place, I'm more than happy to volunteer, you know, be in charge of the money. Scrum boys, first 15 ball. In and out, Rich, in and out. Greg, get on with it, man. Only there, Greg, only there. Good practice today, my boys. Bloody good practice. You work really well. Just remember, mind, we fucking lose against Tradiga. I'll whip your shorts down and bum the lot to you. And I won't even take you in the showers either. I'll be out on the pitch in front of everyone. And it's not an idle threat either. Last time we lost was in 02. You just go and ask those boys I played. The ones that didn't kill themselves anyway. They'll tell you. I haven't got time for a band of useless cunts. And what do you do with cunts? You fuck them. Now go on. All of you go. Piss off. Hey, Rich. Everything all right, though, ah? Yeah, why? Oh, guess, you know, all things considering, like. What are you on about? What do you mean? Well, third time now, Kate hasn't come to watch you practice. She's at that cartoon club with Tony. Tony? Can't see how you're coping with it, Rich. There's some fat cunt was trying to get into my missus, Nick, guys. I saw him I am one of the hardest boys in the college, like. Nothing's going to happen. She told me he's harmless anyway. Aye, but Rich, we're the hardest kids in the college. All the boys are talking about it. Wondering why you're letting that little fat cunt spend all that time with Kate. Who's been saying that? Well, everyone. Come on, why don't we wait around for him and you can bust this fucking fat fucking cunt in face in, like. Uh, what were they saying about me? Well, just reckon you must be scared of him or something, you know. I'm not scared of him. He's a fucking Mars bar. That's what I'm trying to tell him. But you know, the longer you stand back and do nothing, the more they're going to say it is. You know me, but I know you've got nothing to worry about. Right, well, look, I need to take a dump. I'll think about this when I'm on the bog. <laughs> Where the hardest kids in the garden? Jazz! Jazz, can you hear me? Come on! Jazz! <coughs> Fucking hell! hell. <sighs> what, what, what is it, Blev? What's happening? Look, just just calm down. Look, if he's only just eating him, he, he might still be okay. I'll go get a stick now. What the fuck's a stick gonna do, Beat? Hiya, lovely boy. Are you alright? Ma'am? All done now. This nice boy who was there gave me a lift back. I wouldn't have usually done it, but I was missing my conflict so much. Oh, I think that's been the longest I've been apart from him. Oh. Well, uh, go with the cabin over there. Uh, he's just in my office having a kip. Uh, I'll bring him now. Oh, look at that snake. That's peculiar. Uh, he, he's mine. He's, he's just having a lie down on the grass. It's to me. That's a very familiar shape. <laughs> He's just a fat snake. He's. I just give him a joint of beef over there now. Conflict? Oh, oh my god! That monster's eating my baby! <laughs> Mom, come on! Uh, I can explain! Everything's gone black! Everything! I can't see! Oh, oh my god! I'm having another stroke! Blessing! Get help! The doctor told me I had to avoid anything stressful! Beaten! Go grab your shit and fuck off! You're fucking done, Beat! Alan Mark too, you cunt! Sucked! Don't come back here ever again! Blev, I, I, I'm, I'm fucking sorry, but I, I just blinked and he was gone and... I said fuck off! I... Mom! Oh! I have nothing left to live for! Oh. What about me? That new girl Sonia seems nice. Yeah, she, she didn't say much though. I think she's just shy. She seemed to know a lot about anime. Yeah, mainly One Piece though. She, that, that's a bit too normy for me. I, I'm more of a bleach guy. I think she has a thing for you. Nah, I don't think she did. I'm... I'm way too fat and ugly for someone to be attracted to. Don't be stupid. You're such a great guy. And you have an amazing personality. Ah, oh, Tony, you're such a great friend. Thanks, Kate, but 
I don't know if Sonia really is my cup of tea, though. To be honest, I mean, she's cool, but I sort of have my eyes on someone else. Oh, really? What's her name? Or his? Well, I was wanting to... Wait, wait, wait a minute. What do you mean, his? You're bi, aren't you? No, I, I only like girls. Why do you think I'm bi? Uh, I, I must have just heard from, uh, y- you know... Um... No, I only like girls. I mean... Yeah, I know I watched that Yowie that one time, but that was mainly for the story. See, it was practically neck in it then, Rich. Come on, let's go knock that little fat cunt out. I'm raging over this. Uh, I don't know, I think they're just talking. Oh, you not see then? I am. I she ain't even my method. At least drive past and let him know that the artist boys in the college saw him. Nah, fuck that. It's way too soon. What do you mean it's too soon? I mean, I'm going to play the long game for a bit. Think something up. Think something up? Ooh, I like the sound of that. That's right. Go about your day, you arrogant fat cunt. Smiling. You'll be smiling on the other side of your fat round head by the end of the day, you fat cunt. Wait, <laughs> you